He is one of the Vikings' most promising players. Anthony Barr is an athletic and physical linebacker who is fulfilling his dream of playing in the NFL. The person who has inspired him most is his mother, Lori. She raised Anthony as a single parent. She has always been there for him, but a couple of years ago, it was Anthony's turn to be there for her during the trying and difficult time. John Lorson shows us how a costly mistake brought mother and son closer together. Starts this one off. Two Safari. At six foot five and 255 pounds, Anthony Barr is a physical presence on the football field. Touchdown, Barr! The Vikings win it! But the person he respects most in this world isn't a football player. I feel like I haven't seen you in a hundred years. It's his mom, Lori, who gave birth to Anthony during her junior year of college. I was going to be single and I was going to be raising a biracial boy. I, I was terrified. My heart's pounding now just thinking about the feeling that I had then. She was, you know, 19 years old, you don't want to really have to be working two jobs and going to college and trying to raise a kid. You know, you, you want to be out with your friends and doing things. And but it didn't take long for that to change. He came into the world and I fell in love. So did her parents, Jean and John. I don't think there was ever any doubt that there was a home for this person, boy or girl. They helped Lori raise Anthony, but she was the one who encouraged him to get involved in sports, namely football. In a way, the Vikings have Lori to thank for the promising linebacker who starts on Sundays. Anthony's original love was basketball, but Lori encouraged him to give football a try. He did and never looked back. She might love the game even more than me, to be honest, and that's crazy to think of, but uh, she loves the game, I love the game, and I really got that passion from her. Anthony grew to become a star running back at Loyola High School. He caught the eye of college recruiters and ended up with a scholarship to UCLA. Lori was also finding success. She was a principal at St. Paul High School in Santa Fe Springs, California. But a personal nightmare changed all of that. It's like an addict. Struggling with finances, Lori began using the school's credit card for personal use. She took a little at first, and from there, it spun out of control. It was embarrassing and was shameful, but I couldn't stop. Lori eventually confessed to stealing about $64,000 from the school. She was sentenced to 180 days in county jail. But the most difficult thing was getting the courage to tell Anthony what she'd done. I just said, I, I've got to tell you something, and it's not good and we both just kind of cried and after a while of just kind of sitting there in silence he just said things happen it's going to be okay i love you anyway and i never had anything against her i always felt that she she you know she always raised me the right way and always did everything by the book really and so you know everybody's gonna make mistakes everybody's gonna slip up so but do you have a resume lori eventually got a second chance to help kids who also need a second chance she's my mvp james washington a two-time super bowl champion with the dallas cowboys and a mentor to anthony hired lori to be his executive director at a nonprofit called Shelter 37. It's an organization that helps children and adults get their high school diplomas. Everybody was telling me about her past and, and how, you know, can you trust her? I was shocked because I didn't think there was somebody out there who would take a chance on me. The Vikings took a chance too. In the 2014 NFL draft, they picked Anthony ninth overall and his mom, the woman Anthony says made it all possible, was the first person he hugged. It was a moment mother and son will never forget. You know, everything that I've ever, ever really wanted is right in front of me. Now I just got to make sure I continue to do the right things and make sure I continue to work hard and um, just keep this thing going. It's given me an opportunity to show my children and to show the young people here that you're going to mess up, things are going to happen, but life is going to go on. Anthony told John that he has been inspired by what James Washington and his mom have done, and he is working to help students who have made mistakes and just need a chance to get back on track. The Anthony Barr Foundation should launch early next year. It is a family foundation whose mission is to provide young single mothers with resources to pursue higher education, which is an issue dear to both Anthony and his mother's heart. That's great. Interesting story. Yeah, huh? it really is. Yeah, good for them.